Hi everybody, welcome back, glad you could tune in again. Today I'd like to make an announcement about these devotions and after I've done that I want to give you a little bit of background and explanation uh, for that announcement and then to ask your help and your input as we consider what's the best thing to do moving forward. As a session we've been talking about these devotions in the last few weeks and trying to think through What's the best thing to do with them? What's the best way to use this medium of communication? And what we've decided to do, this is the announcement really, we've decided temporarily to press pause on these daily devotions just for a period of a few weeks. Let me explain some of the reasoning for this. Basically, the circumstances in which we started these devotions are different from the circumstances now. And the reasons for which we started them don't seem to apply in quite the same way. You remember back in 2020, Pastor Neil and I both were involved in producing these daily videos, uh, initially six days a week and then five days a week, and partly it was a way of trying to maintain some kind of face-to-face -face contact, albeit uh, really defective in the sense that it's just it's really just one way, um, but also uh, some kind of way of providing pastoral input and teaching and encouragement when the normal means of pastoral engagement were uh, cut short or were prevented because of the restrictions due to COVID. Well, that has largely changed now. Uh, now we're in a situation where pretty much in-person engagement uh, is the norm. And more than that, the actual shape and texture of the congregation has changed we've grown quite substantially and I myself am here in the US in Fort Worth rather than on the other side of the pond over in London. Uh, so it seems like the circumstances that gave rise to these daily devotions and the reasons that underlay their initiation have changed quite substantially and it doesn't seem obvious to us that this is the best use of this resource. That said, uh, we've had a fair number of positive comments from people who've appreciated these devotions. They've given us an opportunity to address a whole range of different things which it would have been hard to address in any other way. Uh, to put it another way, in God's providence, 2020, among other things, opened our eyes, certainly opened my eyes, to the possibilities of this form of communication. Just think of all the different doctrinal and biblical and cultural issues that we've covered over the last year or so. Those are things which we wouldn't probably have been able to cover in the normal course of events. And so it looks like perhaps this does provide a useful structure for teaching and engagement and, and dealing with questions and helping with discipleship related issues moving forward. That said, the actual content of these devotions itself has changed over time. It began very much as daily devotions, devotional material. And I remember talking with Pastor Neil about uh, how we should try and structure these and resolving myself to keep everything to three to five minutes. Well, <laughs> just look at the timestamps on some of these devotions and see uh, how unsuccessfully I've kept that resolution. But at the same time as we've been led to go longer, so to speak, uh, the reason we've been going longer is because we've been addressing a whole bunch of material which isn't actually really devotional in nature. We had a whole series of uh, these videos uh, on the subject of critical theory and we talked about a whole range of other things which to do with discipleship and theology but they weren't really short daily devotionals. So what we've decided to do is rather than try and make some small incremental changes not being really sure where we're going. We're gonna press pause in a deliberate fashion for a few weeks and just think about the best way to use these resources. Here we have a way in which I and potentially other people as well, obviously Pastor Neil and perhaps other folks, uh, can engage here on video face to face with you as a congregation. You are our primary audience. These videos are not designed specifically for anybody else. If other people watch them, that's fine, but it's you guys. It's the congregation here at All Saints, the brothers and sisters in Christ whom we're physically worshiping with week by week. It's you who we, as a session, want to serve using these videos. And we'd like to hear what you found helpful, how you use them, 
uh, what you found less helpful. Uh, any input you have at all about these videos, please, would you share it with me? Just get in touch, see me on Sunday, ping me a quick email, give me a quick uh, phone call, send me a text. Don't worry unduly about composing a long email and worrying exactly about how to word things. Uh, it's probably easiest just to have a quick chat with me and I'll keep a record of the kinds of feedback we're getting and then we will think going forward about how best to use this medium. It looks like in God's providence we may be able to use this in all kinds of ways going forward to try and uh, keep engaged as a congregation and provide a, a different means of uh, providing pastoral and theological and biblical discipleship shaped input as well as commenting on other broader cultural trends. We just want to know from you what you found most helpful. At the same time, let me leave you with one final exhortation. Uh, the daily character of these devotions means, I know, that in some cases uh, they have started to function in some families as part of your daily family devotions or your individual devotions. And maybe that's one thing you want to say. Maybe you want to say they're really valuable in that context, which would be helpful to hear. But let me encourage you, as we press pause, if these have formed really the substance of your daily Bible reading or family devotions, can we encourage you, can I encourage you, to find a way of continuing your daily Bible reading, your daily times of prayer as an individual, as families, even in the absence of these things? If those disciplines are in place, well, firstly and vitally importantly, one of the commitments that we've all made as members of the church here will be in place to give ourselves to daily Bible reading and prayer and worship in families if you're part of the family. But also, we will then be uh, free, so to speak, to think about how to redeploy this technology in a way which would be most helpful, perhaps to cover other bases or to deal with uh, other kinds of issues in discipleship and uh, teaching and so on that may arise. So if these have become something you lean on heavily for daily devotions, I want to challenge you to get into the Word of God a chapter or two a day, some time in prayer as an individual or as a family, whatever it is that suits you. Let me encourage you to make that a priority in the coming weeks. And as I said, please, please, please get in touch with me uh, by phone, email, face-to-face, -face, whatever is easiest for you. And give me your thoughts about what you found most helpful with these videos, perhaps things that haven't been so helpful, and any thoughts you have about what would be most useful going forward as we uh, seek to serve you, the congregation here at All Saints. Thank you very much. The Lord bless you. And bye for now.